Hey there, Aries and Aries co watcher conspirators. Welcome to District 17 once again. I am Observer. We're Sly. Whatever you want to freaking call me, right? I have a brand new deck I got for my birthday. The Starman Tarot deck, right? Inspired by the artworks created for David Bowie by David Delange. I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm going to say Angelis. Because, you know, American shit like that, right? But yeah, like, the artwork on this is fabulous. Like, I tried it out last night, and it is pretty good. I like it. It's very vibrant, a lot of energy. Definitely picks shit up off of it. Makes it much more inviting. Um, it's hard to shuffle these, though. And these are kind of a little bit more flimsy. Than my other decks. This is actually longer than my uh, Deviate Moon deck, which surprised me a little bit. Oh well, I'll just stay there for all I care. I'll just have to get used to shuffling them, but I want to be really gentle with them because they're super nice. I don't have a bag, so, and they're staying in the box because I like the box. There's no reason for me to get rid of this box. It's nifty. All right, so let's see. This is mid January to the beginning of February reading, right? So I'm only going to do one reading. I'm not going to do for two people today. I'm sure you guys understand. Um, I will be back to do the January readings before or January, February readings before February comes up. So just stay tuned for that. It'll just take me a minute to get to them all, right? But you guys will be first, like you always are. So let's see what's going on with you, Aries. For going on from January to the next month of February. No ammo. Let's see what this first row is. King of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. King of Wands reversed. This is reversed too. And that one is too. Prince of Swords and the beginning theme should be the Six of Wands. I feel like some people are casting out their wands, casting out some actions that they've they begun letting to take place. I'll be clarifying with my, um, the fuck are they called? Ah, uh, Jesus, I totally forgot. I have nowhere to put anything. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. I'm be using my Shadow Escape deck to clarify for all y'all, right? So, uh, Six of Wands. What the fuck is this? This is like a victor, right? This is the victory card. So it's kind of like, um... It's kind of like some things have taken place to take change. Right? I wonder if you guys can see that. These cards are, like, really amazing. I actually found them because of Talkative Twins. I watch her regularly. And, like, I was just like, ooh, a David Bowie deck. But I didn't get... I didn't really... I got too excited and ordered them before I really looked at them. But, like, wow. The imagery is just succulent. I love David Bowie. <laughs> but, yeah, like, this is like someone is casting out action and are going to be victorious in what they cast out. Like, there are people praising them or begging mercy from them showing exuberance and showing like their detrimental strength upon those who come against them and those who come to worship them you know setting fire to the damn place just because you can that kind of power in a victory right so we got the king of pentacles right here the princess or the page of pentacles The Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm gonna show this deck off for a while, man. Like, this is a really good deck. <laughs> the Nine of Swords reversed. King of Wands reversed. And finally, the Prince of Swords reversed, right? It looks like he's trying to be a crow and a fucking, and a fucking clown. You know, like, what a weird expression. I'll turn them upright if I have to see. I can really look at them. But the way he just looks right there, it's like, eh, you're kind of a zombie. I don't know if I trust you. 
right? All right, so we got the King of Pentacles up here. Usually he's a provider. He's sitting on his throne, which looks like a mechanical fat horse. And it is tethered to the ground by his pentacle. And there is a ladder to help him get to safety if he chooses so. But he's just sitting there floating. Just being like, yeah, I'm in my element. I'm just chilling here. I got two anchors down and I'm tied to one. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm stable. There is abundance raining down on my pentacle as I ride on my mechanical fat horse that floats. For some reason, I'm not sure why it floats. First card we got for him. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Someone might have felt a little bit, um. Like someone is in a situation where they're within their power, but they, I, I feel like they're still looking up for something. Like, look, like this dude has, um, his pentacle in the sky, and she's got her pentacle in her window looking towards the sky, right? Maybe it's like the realization that you don't know that you have this yet. Maybe you are still experiencing some like dissociation with what you are in comparison to what you believe it should be. I mean, this is the ground of like there might be some like there is financial stability there. It's just someone I might still be worried about future costs as well. Yeah. Quite a few fell out now. Okay. So ah, next card. Nine of Swords, right? Which is the situation. Nine of Swords is usually like someone is um yeah, look at this. It's just mental anguish being stuck in that. But it's reversed, so I feel like maybe, just maybe, you are coming out of that hostile mentality. It is a slow working process with the Knight of Pentacles. Upright. That's the situation. Like, you're still, like, someone's coming out of bad vibe mentality. It's just taking a while to get there, I feel like. Maybe with the delivery of an offer to be given as well. And maybe that's why somebody feels like they're out of their element and or, or they're still plagued with the idea that they are not stable financially, but they are getting there with the King of Pentacles, I feel like. Like, it's there. It's just taking a minute to get to that place. But you're starting to see progress, I think, because he is upright. And then we got these two cards for the next two. We got the Princess of Pentacles is what you want in. Like you're wanting to produce, to grow. This could be a child too. Um, there is pregnancy in this image, right? Like something might be born of a situation. I don't know if that's supposed to be a baby or a beanstalk. But it, 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 it honestly could be either or because this is a pentacle. It could be, and like, these three pentacles, they could all be the same person, too. But they don't have to be. I don't feel like they are. But this one definitely feels very immature in itself. But there is this desire, if not a willing nature, to try to produce something. Um, maybe it's not what you think it is. Maybe you're unsure of what it is you're actually going to be creating. Even though you have the idea, the potential's still there. And I think that's what some of you are wishing for. Yeah, you want to... I mean, you don't have really that much of a scope. This is a lot of pentacles, Aries. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is a lot of Earth right here, but there is definitely happiness and fulfillment and, like, strong building of things. Like, this woman and her dragon created this entire forest themselves. They, like, play it to the skies and everything. This is their domain. Um, it might be an immature energy. Oh, God, this, they're slippy. Oh, my God. That's going to be fun to deal with. But yeah, like, even though this is an immature, um, this could be, uh, uh, with a child, but this could also be, like, you laying out. Whatever it is that you really don't have a grasp on right now, which is going to lead you to be maybe the King of Pentacles if you're not dealing with someone like that, but this is definitely a wish to, like, bear some, sure, immature, but rightfully placed and carefully considered 
root in order to establish these ten of pentacles situation where you create the domain that holds on to you right i love these cards oh my goodness the vibrancy is just energetic but what's going against you is the king of wands could be yourself could be also a leo or a sagittarius where they're acting like a bully <coughs> their whole energy is like off the charts and just seeping down to like project like a lot of dominance like it's kind of like dealing with a bully right when it comes to a page of pentacles reversed okay wait okay so somebody you aries or could be cross watcher or anybody else really This person down here, thank you, Alarm. This person down here, or you, because it could possibly be you, is being a bully about a page of pentacles, and like, or you are not investing enough to even start anything and become a failure. Like, there's no real, um, it, it, it's like someone jumping in without like really calculating the cost, and it comes with failure down here. But up here, it's like, there's still this immature idea that, like, everything can be established and created, whether by oneself or with, like, aid of another. Not till Wednesday. Mmm... Aries, I mean, this could be you going against yourself by not really paying attention to what you're doing entirely, which is no insult to you because you're like, I am in your motto. Um, you go out of your way to get shit done, which I completely appreciate. I appreciate the fact that you guys are go-getters and you will be the first to do anything. But sometimes your impulse just makes you just go and do something and then you don't think about it until after you've done it and then you realize that was a horrible idea why did i do that oh i know you used to know this one aries chick she was always like that it was ridiculous ah uh, yeah like i i feel like someone is kind of not helping themselves in this situation right here let's go back to shuffling Let's get these last few cards out. I just want to point out too, like, okay, so like, come here. This person is really close. Like, they're so close to their goal and they can reach you. Right? With this whole Ten of Pentacles thing. This dude's all the way back here and sitting on a rock like, please don't try to whack me. <laughs> like, I'm sorry I came up with that theory. You know? Over here, Ten of Swords. Like, some sort of betrayal that might have happened. Some backstabbing, maybe. Possibly with a third party situation. Someone's afraid of that. But I, I, but I can't... I'm not sure if someone's afraid that, um... It's going to come back on them or not. Like, look at this card this way. I mean, it's kind of like someone betrayed. There was a betrayal somewhere. And they ended up getting them, and this, these two are like reflecting each other in this image, right? So it's like, they ended up stabbing themselves as well. Like they may have tried to sabotage another person, but they ended up like becoming a reflection of what they did. Possibly then with a third party situation coming in. Or maybe some overindulgence somewhere. Maybe somebody's afraid that like someone will find out that like, I don't know, they spent all their drug money or some shit. I don't know. It could be anything like that. Anything that's, that's ridiculous, right? 
Um, but this is more about like emotions and communication. Like someone didn't wasn't vocal enough about this possible betrayal. I mean, it, it's already over. Like it's been over. But it's like someone still isn't communicating about what happened with this. This three of cups right here. Right? Someone isn't really opening up enough, I feel like, about how much it bothered them that they, that this happened. Not that they allowed it to happen, but that it was like, I don't know, it, it, it was just a pleasure moment, right? It doesn't have to necessarily be like third party either. It's just three cups. It, it, it has representation of pleasure, indulgence, um, excess in some cases and I feel like this is more like someone just rushed into a passionate moment with some sort of like pleasure involved and they're still trying to process or you're still afraid to process the idea that they did it to themselves just putting that out there I slid an incense for anyone wondering. It's a bigger one, so I can't have it under the camera. Oop. Last two cards. So then we have... With this Princess of Swords. Or, no, Princess Sword, who's reversed, right? Um, someone's definitely not communicating. Someone doesn't want to. They... It's kind of like the crow, cradle of filth, the Joker, Jared Leto's Joker with hair that's not green and just, there's a lot of cuts on him, you know, like he's doing a lot of weird shit. It's like the more they keep their mouth shut, the more it hurts, which is like the catalyst and the final result in all this. Which comes to the full, like someone wanting to take a leap of faith. Like, like which is weird, because it's like they're leaving. They're not communicating. They're not the, they have their back turned to the situation too. Like they're facing forward, possibly trying to take a um, leap of faith to start something different, start something new, start something that's supposed to uh, shoot them off of some sort. And then we have the page of cups. No. This way. My bad. Page of Cups down here. Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Also, this could be um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. My bad. And all the Pentacle Court. Nearly all... The, uh, the only one missing is the Queen for the Pentacle Court cards. Because, like, this, this is a lot of Pentacles. This is a lot about financing, almost. Like, there are a lot of offers being given here. I just don't know if anyone's going to take them. But we got the Page of Cups, who is possibly offering maybe an apology of sorts. Or maybe she is just opening herself up. She could be childlike with it, very expressive, very playful. And it seems like with this openness, there is an explosion of victory to come with it as well. Let's see what the three advice cards are with this situation, Aries. Oh, well, this hasn't been too bad. I hope you guys are digging these cards, too, because I really like them. One. Four of Wands reversed. like like there isn't much harmony there isn't a unity of sorts sometimes it might deal with like something incomplete there was another tarot reader I was listening to and they said this could also represent a door being closed 
which I found interesting. I never thought of it that way. So it could also symbolize that as well, but I feel like there might be something to do with the home as well, where, like, things aren't as harmonious and unified as it seems. Like, there's actually discontent behind closed doors. Like, someone might be having to deal with some things, but they don't want other people to know. Did one just flip on me? Yes, it did. Second advice card, Nine of Swords. Someone's probably plagued in all this. Someone's, like, thinking really hard. Um, trying to accomplish this between, like, possibly sabotaging themselves, if it's you, Aries, or somebody else, and trying to obtain an actual goal here. Like, maybe the message right here is, you can't be a bully and get what you want. You know, you can't bully people around. You have to actually start with something small in order to grow something big. But I feel like someone doesn't know how to do that, and that's what's bothering them. A little bit. Like, they're too busy looking up in order to, like, see down here. Like, yeah, his eyes are all up on this, and, like, this is my dream, and then down below here is, like, hey, you might want to tone it down, just simmer it down, just a little bit. Just enough to get something accomplished. And I feel like someone is, they have their head in the clouds. Not realizing this at all. And it could be you, Aries, or it could be somebody else you're dealing with. It could be you, Cross Watchers, if you're watching for it. As y'all like to call yourselves. We got two last cards. I had two last cards before, but I put them back. Um, someone needs to come to some decision. Decide either with their head or their heart. About an offer being given. About something being offered. Like, someone needs to come and decide if they're going to communicate about the situation in order to get an offer out of it, I think. Because someone down here would rather keep their mouth shut and go somewhere else. But there needs to be some head-over-heart decision with this, too, in order to get a new offer, like. Maybe he's leaving because of the third party situation and he can't get over or he feels betrayed as well. Could be a scenario like that, but it's up for you to decide. But that is yours for February to... Fuck. From January to February of this current year. I will see you all now. Bye-bye.